Here's why your beats aren't hitting the way they could be. You're not using gross beat to its full potential or maybe you're just not using it at all. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use it to add insane chops, stutters, and rhythmic flips to your track. Stick around because I'm also going to share a secret that most producers overlook when they're using growth beat. Growth speed is a time manipulation effect plugin exclusive to FL Studio. It's basically a cheat code for creating glitchy effects, chopped rhythms, and DJ style scratching with absolutely minimal effort. From lo-fi to high energy trap, growth speed works across all genres. Whether you're flipping samples or tweaking melodies, this plugin has something for you, I guarantee. You've got two main tabs, time and volume. Time controls pitch shifting and stutter effects, while volume is all about gating and chop preset banks. If you're new, start here. Just click through presets and see how they instantly transform your sound. Grid. This is where the magic happens. You can customize curves and patterns to control how your sound is manipulated. You can also automate all of these things in your DAW for dynamic transitions. Here's how to apply gross speed to your drums. Load gross speed onto your drum bass. Select a time preset like half speed to instantly slow your pattern down for a dramatic vibe. Or try gating to make your drums punchier and more rich. Pro tip, combine gross speed and reverb or delay to make your drums sound huge and atmospheric. Here's how to use gross speed to transform your melodies. First, drop gross speed on your melodies and use presets like Momentary Glitch for an electronic vibe. Customize. Draw your own time envelope for unique chops. For an example, ramping up the grid adds pitch risers that are perfect for builds. Some layering advice. Yeah. Duplicate your melody track, apply gross speed to one, and blend the original with the processed version for more depth. Here's the secret pro tip I was talking about. Here's what most producers miss. Side chaining gross speed. By linking its time effect to a side chain input, you can sync stutters and chops perfectly with your kick or snare, making your track feel alive. So, now you got your tools to turn your tracks from basic to brilliant using gross speed. But remember, it's not always about slapping on presets. Experiment, tweak, and make them your own. Let me know in the comments which technique you're going to try out first, or if you have your own tips to share. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to support me as a creator, hit the join button down below. It is the easiest way to help me as a creator and support me to continue making videos for you guys. As always, thank you all for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Peace out.